Lord, we come to your table this morning eager to proclaim your death for as awful, as immeasurably criminal as that was. It was your plan from the foundation of the world to rescue sinners. And we will boast and proclaim and sing of your death in our place until you return and even beyond. We thank you and ask for your help as we look to your word in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. This is the time in our service where we celebrate the Lord's death through communion. And there are some men at the corners here with Bibles. If you don't have a Bible, we'd love to put one in your hands so that you can follow along. So just slip your hand up, let them know that you forgot your Bible. Uh, or that you need one to look on. And if you don't own a Bible, this is a gift. Uh, we would love for you to have a copy of God's Word uh, in your own language uh, for your own keeping, and uh, we're eager for you to have that. So I want you to turn this morning to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and we're going to look together at verse 26 to have us think about what we'll do in the next few moments. Paul there, of course, is describing communion or the Lord's table. And we'll just look at this one verse. He says, as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now, this is what we're here to do this morning. It is a looking back and a looking forward. It is a looking back at the Lord himself coming to earth and dying on a cross in place of sinners. That God loved people like you and me who had rebelled against him by nature and by activity. And he looked upon us in love and did not give us what we deserved, but sent his son to die in our place. To actually pay for our sins and absorb all of the Father's wrath against us who believe. And when we take this little cup and this little piece of bread and we consume them, we are remembering what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. And we are proclaiming what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. To take care of our sins before God, to bring us to God. To give us eternal life and to make us his own. And we are also looking forward to his return. As often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is an anticipatory thing that we do. We long for the king who came and laid down his life for his subjects and then went away. And he will return to vindicate his own name, to set everything right and to rescue his people. We look forward to that day. Now, you don't have to be a member of Grace Bible Church to partake with us in the Lord's table, but you do have to be in Christ that is, you have to be a believer in Jesus Christ. You must have surrendered your life to him and been convinced that he and he alone can take care of your sin before a holy God. And if you belong to Jesus Christ, we would invite you this morning to drink the cup and eat the bread. If you do not yet belong to Jesus Christ, this is a unique opportunity for you to hear the good news about what God has done for sinners and to surrender your life to him and this moment to have eternal life and we would invite you to examine your own heart to contemplate seriously where you stand with the Lord if you were to die today what would be your eternity it's an opportunity for you to belong to him and to have everything it's also an opportunity for us believers in the next few moments we'll have a period of silence. Opportunity for you to examine your own heart and your life, to confess any known sin, to enjoy the fruits of forgiveness purchased for you at the cross, to in seed form repent from what you haven't yet repented to be carried out. And so I would invite you in the next few moments as the men are passing out these elements, this bread and this juice, to Examine your own heart to give thanks for what God has done for us in Jesus Christ. And again, if you're not a believer, just let those pass by you. This is for believers to proclaim the Lord's death until he returns. Man, would you come forward and serve us? And after you have prepared your heart, go ahead and take those elements on your own. And I'll close us in prayer. <clears throat> 